Hey guys, today we're checking out the all new Traeger Timberline XL Pellet Grill. This is the first Traeger Pellet Grill that comes to you capable of being built into a designer style outdoor kitchen. It can also be purchased on a cart like the model I used for this video, but remove the wheels and add Traeger's optional trim kit that includes an extra long power cord for the induction side burner and voila, cut to a beautiful outdoor kitchen. Let's check it out. When it comes to features, the Timberline XL is stacked. So I'll just start things off with the two auxiliary cooking grates, which can be set in any of five different positions. Below the grids, Traeger has completely revamped the way you clean a pellet grill. They now have fan air blowing around the fire pot, forcing ashes up onto the easy clean drip tray that sits directly above the even flow heat shield. Now you just scrape everything towards the grease tube and down into the easy clean grease and ash keg. And from here, simply remove, dump, and replace. To handle the spacious grilling area, Traeger included a 22 pound capacity pellet hopper. On the left side of the hopper, there are two work lights that shine into the grill and they also act as sensors that tell the controller when the lid is open. On the top of the hopper, Traeger put a magnetic bamboo cutting board for added convenience. And for fast pellet changeouts, there is a pellet release at the bottom of the hopper. To the left of the grill, you'll see the first outdoor rated induction side burner. This magical device uses magnetism to transform your cooking vessel into the actual heat source. Induction is super efficient and will bring liquids to a boil lightning fast. When not in use, Traeger included a sleek metal cover. Moving on to my favorite new Traeger feature, it's their PAL accessory mounting system, or as they also call it, pop it and lock it. This is the nice looking and heavy duty rail system around the grill's perimeter. Fully customizable, the PAL lets you hang your accessories wherever works best for you. The Timberline XL comes with two temperature probe ports for the included wired meat probes, and they've also packed in two meter wireless Bluetooth probes. Meter probes rock, and they even come with their own magnetic charging dock. They are fully integrated with the grill's controller as well as the Traeger app. Thanks, Traeger. Now for the updated Wi-Fi controller. It has a full color touchscreen as well as a control knob. This thing is like a battle command center. It enables you to see your set temperature versus the grill's actual temperature. There's information and controls for any Bluetooth accessories paired with the grill. Information and controls for the induction side burner. The hopper's current pellet level in increments of 5%. They've thought of just about everything. Through the controller, the grill also has a super smoke feature for an optional extra punch of smoke throughout the cook. There's also a keep warm feature that keeps your food safe for several hours by holding the grill at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, through the controller, there is a probe calibration feature for calibrating the wired probes as well as Bluetooth probes. Below the grill, Traeger has added a two door storage cabinet complete with soft close hinges. We'll begin the quality section by looking at the Timberline XL's insulative qualities. The entire interior of the grill is double walled, which gives it better longevity as well as greater heat stability. But they didn't stop there. The grill is also gasketed very well throughout, including the flange area of the easy clean grease and ash keg. Now for a materials rundown. The main cooking grids are constructed of eight millimeter solid 304 grade stainless steel rods and the two auxiliary grids are made from five millimeter 304 stainless steel rods. The grill's lid exterior is 18 gauge powder coated steel and the interior hood liner is 20 gauge stainless steel. The even flow heat shield checked out as 18 gauge 304 stainless steel. And above it, the easy clean drip tray is 19 gauge 304 stainless steel. Traeger's Timberline XL is solidly built and packed with features, but Will it grill? Let's find out in the performance section. Beginning with our fully loaded burger patty test 
It gives us a closer look at how well a grill performs at medium high temperatures. All 28 patties turned out great without any juggling or shuffling. Next, the max high temperature evenness test. We also decided to run the induction side burner through its paces. For this, we have reverse seared beef tenderloins, roasted lobster tails topped with burr blanc sauce, and a side of roasted peppers and onions. The induction side burner heated up lightning fast and performed gracefully at very low temperatures, as well as screaming hot steak searing temperatures. Induction side burner test, check. Finally, we tested Traeger's Timberline XL at low temperatures. For this, we smoked a brisket, a couple whole chickens, some pork sausage, and some halved butternut squash and green apples. The chicken and sausage smoked nicely and the squash and apples were perfect. As for the brisket, out of respect, I will now take a moment of silence. I hope you've enjoyed our review of Traeger's Timberline XL Pellet Grill. If so, please hit the like button. And if you aren't already, please subscribe for updates on our latest content. You can also check out our Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.